growing up. Chris Perry, he was always the fittest of the family. She loves some. Bring it, bring it back. Like she loves some. Uh, in the club with the lights off. Could you act a shot fog? Come and show me that trick. Got it, bro. You had it by the comments again. Now that you're getting married, if you really want to get in shape. Call me. What's up, Chris Perry? Some people say that Chris Perry is like the Larry Bird of Hawaii. Larry Legend? There he is. Number 24. Ooh. Ooh. Take it, take it. Ooh. Did you know Chris Perry played against Rajon Rondo at the ILH Championship game? Really? Awesome. Word on the street is that Chris Perry has a 46 inch vert. No way. <laughs> Did you know Chris Perry still plays basketball and has a full time career? Dude, they never invite me to play. That's Chris why. Perry. Welcome to the married life, Chris Perry. Oh! Got bored. Hi, I'm Caroline for all of you who don't know me. Um, I just wanted to share one of my earliest memories of Chris, my brother. My mom, of course being the oldest, always put me in charge of getting all of the kids ready. So I always had to dress him, bathe him, and do all of that. One day he was like, no, I can do this myself. I'm like, all right, go dress yourself. This is what he walked out as. <laughs> Chris always wanted to be like us. And you know what, in a way, it transcends to today where people always say Chris is the prettiest of all of the Perry sisters. Love you, congratulations. Hi everybody, I'm Crystal. For those of you who know Twin's name, nickname for me, I also go by, say it ladies, Big Shoe. <laughs> Um, so as a middle child, I always tried to establish hierarchy and have the kids compete, the kids being Katrina and Chris, compete for my affection. So one day in our old house, I found this big carpenter ant and I was thinking, I know what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. Eat, Eat the ant! ant. <laughs> so I told Tun, you want to be my friend today, this is for today, you can eat this red ant. So of course he's crying, he doesn't want to eat the ant, but he really wants to be my friend because I'm Big Chew. So he eats the ant, he's crying, immediately he throws up, and then runs to my mom. <laughs> the best part about this story is, my mom yells at him for eating the ant. <laughs> so at the end of the day, um, I'm sorry Tun, but I'm Big Chew, I got your back, and this is my embarrassing story for you today, and I love you, congratulations. Dun, dun, boy, my dear boy, why do you cry all the time? You cry for your mama, you cry for your papa, you cry for Caroline! Congratulations! You had your chance, now you must pay. I'm glad that Sick from it. For I her. didn't get sick from you. Sick from <laughs> sick for her. I got sick for her, I guess. Um, at a hundred and what? Two hundred four fever. 104 fever. Yeah. I didn't have a doctor. Uh, I got taken to Subway 
I, I thought for a foot long or something to fix me up, but I didn't realize it was a Perry building. That's it. <laughs> foot long would have healed me probably, but I went upstairs and met you, and I thought this guy was really cool. He was wearing Kobe Bryant shoes, and you go. I had tonsillitis. He said, I don't want to cut you open. I was like, all right, I like that. He's like, that's barbaric. You gave me a shot, didn't I? You actually gave me free azithromycin. There you go. I love that. Hey, you know what? <laughs> We're family now. Remember the first time I came over to your house and I gave you a hug? Yeah, you broke my back, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> the next time I went over to your house, you broke my back. Because <laughs> I think you lifted it out before, right? <laughs> yeah. I prep for that one. Love you, bro. I said. <laughs> I'm Leo's dad. I love. Kind of a funny story about Lewa. I know it's funny, but it shows how stubborn she was. She's uh, just two years old and she would never eat her vegetables. She would always hide them in her napkin and uh, try to go throw them in, the, in a rubbish box when she was done with dinner. So one night I busted her and I said, you know, you gotta eat your peas, otherwise you gotta go to your room. So she said, well, I'm gonna go to my room. So I said, well, you come out when you're ready and then you could have the rest of your dinner. And so I waited an hour, then two hours, then three hours, and then it's like 11 o'clock, and then I decide, well, I'll go to bed. I go looking on the room. She's wearing her dark glasses. She has these unicorn boots on. She has a Superman cape, and she's sitting there playing with her dolls. And I said, well, are you ready to come out and eat? And she said, no. <laughs> and so the next morning, I woke up, and I said, like, what? You know, aren't you sorry for not eating your pee? She goes, no. <laughs> so she's standing there a whole other day. To finally, it's terrible parenting. I had to go over there and tell her, okay, never mind about the peas. Just come to eat. So she didn't eat for like two days. Dressing up in her room in all these costumes, had dark glasses, boots on, uh, playing with all her little ponies. So uh, that kind of shows how determined she is. And uh, we were like crazy, so <laughs> that's my funny start. Hi, I'm here to share my favorite story about Lehua, and it involves my nana and a black eye. So we were on the Big Island in Kona, staying with my family. We were doing a rotation uh, with Dr. Cortez for a couple of weeks, and. Um, Lehu and I had been out there for a little bit. My husband came to join us over the weekend. Um, you know, one of his friends from college, whom I also went to school with in high school. We happened to be there for her birthday and she was saying, come on, let's go. It's my birthday. So of course, Jesse, the party animal, had to be there. But guess what? He needed somebody to drive him. Now, mind you, this is Kona at night, and he didn't know where he was going. When I asked Lehua what she thought, she eh, wasn't interested and she'd rather just stay home for the night. So reluctantly, Jesse and I left the house. We met up with our friend, had a couple of drinks, came home. When we were pulling into the house, I could not believe it. All the lights were on and I panicked. I barely threw the car into park, flew into the house, and there was my Nana sitting at the side of the bed and Lehua nursing her back to health. Nana had gotten up, somehow got tangled up with her walker and kaboom! She went down. Thank goodness Lehua was there. My cousin Kana comes out of nowhere in his bibbities and scoops up Nana and puts her back on the bed. And Lehua went clean up her boo-boos and made sure that she was okay. Now, the long and short of it is, Nana ended up with a black eye. I beat myself up for that over a long, long time, but now it's kind of a family joke. We always reminisce about the time Lehua gave Nana a black eye. Love you.
My name is Hope. I'm one of Lehua's friends from grad school. We all lived in New York together. And so we were always trying to find like fun things to do and go out and explore the city. And we usually did that. But sometimes um, Lehua kind of likes to stay at home. She's a little bit of a homebody. So we had to make sure that her pants stayed on. So because she would say, it's like, Lehua, let's go out. Let's do something. She's like, nope, can't. Pants are off. So that was like a done deal, no going out after that. So the main objective was to make sure her pants stayed on. And that was it. And then we had a great time. <laughs>